All right, welcome to the next unboxing um, here at Eurofish Aquatics in Tequila, Washington. Here, start off, well, in the background, we got all of our, most of our Fritz products. Um, really like the line, competitive pricing, quality products. I definitely recommend the Zyme 7, Fritz Zyme 7, if you're starting a new tank or your tank crash for the beneficial bacteria, it works really well. And here at the store, we use the ACCR off to the right there for the water conditioner. It's in powder form. Um, instead of using the liquid like the Fritz Complete or your Prime, that has a really bad smell. If you don't like the smell, you can try the ACCR. Um, it does the same thing but in powder form, odorless. And it doesn't stain your clothes like um, the liquid stuff. So, so get started here. Uh, should have a little bit of everything, um, but we do got some rare oddballs, like unique fish, brought in from different parts of the world. So, kind of excited about this one start off here we have some gold black guppies nice and gold up front and black very nice healthy young males and females right uh, we haven't had these in yet these are some rare snails um, they're all mixed in one bag, so we have three types of live bear, live bear snails for you. So if you like your live bear snails, come check these out. Um, all, most of your rabbit snails, I mean all of your rabbit snails are live bears. I don't know if most people know that, but they give birth like every week or two to one. Um, sometimes you get lucky and they'll have like two, but when they're born, they're like quarter inch already. Um, it's pretty unique. I really like them. We've had them here since we've opened. We have, oh, about four or five different kinds of live bear snails. Um, so here is a mixture of three types. Two of them we haven't brought in yet. So here, in here, are that right there, that white one that you're seeing, is a white Hercules snail. Now, the dark ones that are in there are orange rabbit snails. Now, the other kind that's in there, which I'll try to here, try to show you guys on the front here. So the one that's to the right of the white Hercules, that is called a white spotted rabbit snail. And then the white one is the white Hercules snail and the dark ones that are in there are the look at that the thing is huge they get like three four inches orange rabbit snails beautiful orange foot on them and this awesome like ice cream cone looking shell they get really big hard workers got yeah see look at there's that orange body look at that it's Gorgeous color, just sticks out. It's just really qual high high grade orange rabbit snails, and these are all live bears. So come check these out. Up next here we have some more pygmy quarries. Really small nano quarry school really well. It loves staying in a nice tight pack. Alright, we've got a lot of different kinds of puffers here, but here we've got some more beautiful colored Amazon puffers. We have a total of six of them. Freshwater Amazon puffers. They'll grow to be about four inches. Amazing color. Finally got a good amount of yo-yo loaches back in. They're a decent size too. All 
Alright, here's a rare oddball for my monster fish people. Just get the biggest. I'm not sure exactly what size it gets, but I don't think it's too large. But this is the unique, beautiful jungle perch. Got a couple of these guys in. First one. Got some more CPOs, orange dwarf crayfish back. One of the originals we had here first. And I'm starting to see them pop up everywhere. Guess we're getting popular over here at Eurofish. Haven't seen them anywhere else until here. Now they've become popular at other stores. But our original high grade line is always here for you. Alright. Here we have some long fin lemon blue eyed bushy nose, bristle nose plecos. They are your lemon blue eyes, long fin. All right, here's a rare oddball goby we've never brought in. I'll show you here. Of course, they're going to make it difficult. Well, they are Rhinogobius filamentosus. So, yeah, so on the jungle perch that I showed earlier uh, for the monster fish people, uh, they reach about 16 inches uh, max size, the jungle perch. Pretty rare perch to find, uh, especially in the hobby. So, up next is a new Keeley fish we've never brought in. It is a rare, beautiful colored. These bags are horrible to see through, but these are called magnificent Keeley fish. Gorgeous red color. You want a unique oddball centerpiece fish. Here it is. Got two of them in. I can get some more magnis magnificent kiwi fish. They reach about two inches max. Here's a rare oddball for my nano people, which I work really hard to try to do that. It's not always easy at the nano fish. And here. This, this is a new nano rainbow fish. This is your red neon blue eyed rainbow fish. Red neon blue eyed rainbow fish. They only reach 1.25 inches. Looking for a centerpiece rainbow fish for nanos? Here you go. The uh, Latin term is Suyo Dumujo Luminastus. Yeah, I haven't seen them, haven't heard of them. Once I found out that they're nano rainbow fish, I had to get them in. There's only five available. Um, I try to get more if, and if someone is interested in possibly breeding them or getting a school of them, um, just let me know. 
All right, here's another crab for you. We haven't ever brought in. Was able to hunt down some rare red panther crabs. Now, most people keep these fully aquatic, but they are escape artists, which tells me that they should be on land. And the way they're packaged, if you notice, there's styrofoam in there so they can go out. So they do like to come out. So I think it'll work either or. But for me, I'm going to keep them more in a paludarium style aquarium, freshwater, um, instead of just putting them in a, an aquarium like most people would do. And kind of observe to see how much they like to be in the water versus the land. Then I'll make my decision if, if, if I'm going to put them permanently into water. If that makes sense. Red panther crabs. Okay, here's another rare nano fish. I'll show you here. Now, these are aqua cultured in Asia. They don't have a common name yet. They are newer to the hobby. Sorry about the smoky colored bags I really don't like. Here's the other one. They're gorgeous red color. I should focus in. I'm going to try not to butcher the name. But these are your No, Natho bronchius rubrii pinus. I only get about 1.5 inches. There we go. There's the shot. Very beautiful, stunning colors. You want something unique for your smaller tanks, centerpiece fish. Here's two of them available. I've never heard of them, never seen them. Love bringing in new stuff. All right, here we have some more of our rarest quarter we've ever brought in so far. Is the black Venezuelan quarries, also called the black Schultze quarry. Beautiful. They look amazing on some lighter colored substrate. If you got white sand, you want something unique. Get you some Venezuelan, black Venezuelan quarries. All right, here's another rare Kiwi fish we have never brought in. Here's another, these are Gunther Kiwi fish. Look at that, look at those colors. Those Kiwi fish, you guys know, they, they're just like, they look like saltwater fish. Um, this is some stunning colors, rare oddball, smaller fish. Looking for something unique. I've never seen these, never heard of them. Gunther's Kiwi fish. Uh, we're trying to get in some rare oddballs for you, the smaller size, 20 gallons, 10, 20 gallons. Um, you know, it's something rare and odd to put in there that no one really has. Come check these guys out. All right, it's been a while since we've had these rare plecos. Uh, if I remember, they get like seven to nine inches. A um, few people asked me for them. They are the... L018 Gold Nugget Pleco. We'll grab the other one here. There it is. And yeah, so it's the Big Spot Gold Nugget Pleco. The L018. Beautiful spots on them. They're like mostly like black when they color in. With the yellow outline on the edge of their fins with these beautiful big round dots. L018 Gold Nugget Big Spot Pleco. Got two of them in for you. Okay, here's a new rare Pleco we've never brought in. These Plecos are from 
Colombia and they're specifically from the Rio Orinoco. These are the L153. Let's see if I can get hold of them. They're called the Blue Fin Thresher Pleco. Blue Fin Thresher Pleco L153. There we go. Awesome color and pattern on them. Let's see if I can kind of refocus. Blue Thresher Pleco L153. These guys will reach 12 inches. Full grown. There you go. There's the shop for you. I've never seen these anywhere around here in Washington, in Pacific Northwest. Um, these are brought in from other countries, so I'm trying to work hard to bring you guys stuff that no one else has. You'll see it here first, and then probably in the following weeks, a lot of the, my competitors will sneak in here and try to copy the style, which is all good. You know, they're in different areas, but. I'm bringing in here rare stuff that nobody has that you'll see here first. And these are the L50, L153 Blue Thresher Pleco. 12 inches. Gonna be an awesome monster looking Pleco. We got two of them in for you. All right, speaking of Plecos, we have a ton of them here. A lot of them are locally bred here. Especially this in Sistris, the bristlenose plecos, we pretty much have every version. We're working on getting long fin versions of every kind. Uh, the only ones I'm really missing is the super red long fins, which I'll be bringing in soon. But here, and I will upgrade, I, I did recently post on our uh, Facebook uh, business page for Eurofish Aquatics a list of all the plecos that are available. And I will be updating it so you'll see updated up top. And just make sure the one you're looking for, if it's sold out, I might, you know, get it back in stock and upgrade that as soon as I do. So I will go back in there and make sure that I update that we have more L128 Blue Phantom Pleco. This is a large Blue Phantom Pleco. And. Up next is the biggest L128 I've ever seen. I mean, a hole in the bag, so I gotta get it out of there. Ooh, that's a big hole. But yeah, got it pinched now to where it's not leaking, but this is a L128 Blue Phantom Pleco. This thing's pushing seven inches, if not more. And I think they reach about possibly nine inches but it's definitely the biggest one i've ever seen it's a ex extra large blue phantom pleco okay guys last but not least for this unboxing here's something unique we've never brought in before i'm going to show you the bottom of these first now, these are some rare freshwater creatures okay let me try to just show you They are flat. They lay completely flat in your aquarium. Okay. So as I hold them here, these are called freshwater river soles. They're a lot like a flounder. I don't see the eyes on this thing yet. I've never seen these up close. We're in any store or museum, aquarium or anything. These are rare from in, wild from Indonesia, from the uh, things called the Pu, the Pu, Papua River. Um, scientific name for them is Synaglos, Synaglosis Fendamani. So they are a freshwater river sole. And this thing eats um, like crustaceans in the wild. Uh, they're so flat, you can't see them from the side of the bag. 
So I wait till they get to the bottom and I kind of show you, but that's that's the bottom. So I'll try to get footage when they're in the aquarium. Um, they can reach up to 10 inches. So you want something unique you've never seen anywhere else, you just want to come check it out. You know, you go to all the other fish stores and they're kind of playing it safe and you want to come check out something new, something unique. Here's the place to be. Freshwater River Souls. I've never seen anywhere else. Come check this weird creature out. Appreciate you guys. Looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Creepy looking. Yeah, it's like a sideways flounder. Alright guys, take care.